And then here's the important thing because um, if you're gonna if you're dealing with chorus issues, um, you can solve them by coming over here, um, adding an object at the end of this, and this object will take in one thing called course, it's the key. And course, you can specify some of the credentials and some of the settings you want to have related to course in your socket IO server. So for us, what we want is we want to first of all, set up an origin. And what is an origin? It's basically telling our, our server, um, which like URL, which server is going to be calling and making the calls to our socket IO server. So if we really think about it, what exactly is the server that's going to be doing that? It is the React server that is going to be running. So the, we just put the URL to where our React um, application will be running. And in our case, since we're running in our local host, we just put here the local host for React, which is this over here, which is the local host and React will be running on port 3000. So we put 3000 over here just to tell Socket.io that it is okay to accept socket communication with this specific URL over here. And also, we can specify stuff like um, which methods we accept. Um, so for example, if you have any issues um, with like making some sort of requests, you can come over here and specify that you accept get requests or um, I don't know, post requests. 